The Burlington Historical Society recently held a presentation featuring members of His Majesty's 10th Regiment of Foot in America. The actors reenacted the Revolutionary War, looking at the conflict from the British perspective as opposed to the colonial viewpoint most of us are familiar with. The actors represented three different infantry groups, light infantry, battalion, and grenadier. They offered a perspective on how Britain fared after losing the war. Britain was stronger, France was much weaker, so uh, trade routes were improved, money was improved, and when all was said and done, the United States was formed, where did they go? Did they go to the French to buy everything they needed to be a country? No. They went back to the people they were used to dealing with, London. And in the next 10 years, over 25 million pounds of goods were sent from England to the United States. A reenactor has a passion for history and learning and enjoys sharing different perspectives with others. In 1973, I had spent three years in the United States Army and I was after three years I wanted to do something really different and there was a minute company there and I was ready to join until I learned there were red coat units and my father's mother is an English has English background reenacting I think is just a good way to you know bring history alive and kind of you know just, yeah, just bring history alive, get immersed in history. You know, you see things in a museum, but, you know, you never get to touch anything. You never get to wear the clothes. So being a reenactor, you know, you kind of really get to do that. Um, and why the British specifically, I think it's an underrepresented uh, perspective of the war. You know, a lot of people don't realize it's pretty much just a civil war. And, you know, these are just fellow Americans coming from the government or fellow Englishmen, however you want to see it, coming from the government to try to just restore order and, you know, make a living, you know, essentially. While the Historical Society hosted the event, it is clear historical reenactments are beneficial to students of all ages. I think it would act as a good contrast uh, to maybe what they're taught in schools. Obviously, I haven't uh, you know been in public school for a little while, but you know I'm assuming that it's more or less the same story. You know, the British are the bad guys, and they essentially got you know kicked out, and we formed our nation. You know, that's it. However, I think you know what we might be able to do is kind of act as ambassadors for the other side, and kind of teach them you know a new perspective, which they could use you know, in other aspects of their life, too, you know, give them new perspectives on other things as well, you know, whatever that might be. Here's how you can get more information on His Majesty's 10th Regiment of Foot in America. Yeah, so we have a website, actually, very simple. It's redcoat.org. That's literally it. And on there, you can see all of our information, our history, uh, what we're currently doing, um, things about the different units uh, or the different companies that we represent, uh, events that we go to, our whole schedule is on there, events that we have been to, we have pictures and videos as well. From the Murray Kelly Room in the Burlington Council on Aging, I'm Bill Hayes for B News Weekly.